Pittstown is just, there's something special about this area, uh, just the greater Berks County area in general. There's a lot of uh, organic and natural farming happening. Um, there's a lot of fine craftsmen in this area, and it's overlooked, and I think it's taken for granted. Uh, you know, even growing up here, I didn't realize how much of a special thing that we had happening in this area. And so, uh, as we now, you know, a brewery is much more than just making beer. We are tightly knit into the agricultural community. Cool. People really like the diversity of flavors that you can get in craft beer. Um, making the beer is both, I mean, it's obviously an art, but there's also science to it as well. So you can't just all of a sudden make anything you want. You gotta know how things, how to put things together and how the flavors are gonna come out in your final product. Um, and by doing that with experience, education, uh, working different creative ideas, we can come up with new flavors that people are really interested in. The, the craft beer for me was a hobby prior to it becoming uh, this business that, that we're in now. I was just a fan of different beers that had much more flavor and character and so that was intriguing to me and I got into just wanting to discover more about craft beer and it really got in depth for me when I got my first homebrew kit and started really reading and studying the science behind what was making these beers that I found fascinating. You know? Basically my hobby took a hold of my life and started getting really interested in craft beer. There's a, a big movement going on across the United States, uh, pushing eight to 10 percent of the beer market is coming real soon in the next couple of years. It all starts with raw ingredients. There's four main raw ingredients that we use here to make beer. Water, obviously. It's over 95 percent of beer is liquid, it's water. What usually comes next would be the uh, malted barley. We have begun uh, growing brewer's barley on a couple local farms. We also have hops growing and we've partnered with a couple other farms in the area that are growing hops. We're actually developing close relationships with uh, a lot of the different farmers. We're trying to source local uh, raw ingredients when we make our beers. We, especially at our scale, we don't pasteurize and we don't filter our beer. Our beer is alive and well as a culture and it's food. We're doing our best to incorporate as much as we can locally 